So the first card is Innocence, and this is uh, really the beginnings of something brand new coming in for you. Um, this card is um, really the sun card in the uh, normal tarot, and um, this is showing um, you know, enlightenment, clarity, uh, new beginnings, and really happiness coming in for you with this Innocence card. Uh, you're, the relationship that you seem to be involved in has got a lot of sharing. Um, you, know, you might be the one that's being very generous, and you're giving a lot to this relationship. So you're putting a lot uh, of yourself into your relationship and you're taking a chance uh, you've got this person uh, you know taking that leap of faith uh, and uh, you know taking a risk on that relationship so you are giving it all you're giving a lot into that relationship and you're taking um, that risk and taking um, you know you've got the hope that things will um, you know succeed now you've got that innocence card so you did take a risk and it seems like you know with this innocence card things are going to be looking up uh, you've reached quite a mature stage um, in your thinking and um, you know you are seeing things from a very different perspective perspective as well. Now, in the past, you've got the traveling card, so you might have been, uh, this is the Eight of Rods, uh, you know, things started moving very quickly for you. You may have been uh, traveling quite a bit as well, um, and uh, there was a lot of communication as well between you and your partner. Um, so you started something brand new, you've got this uh, a Ten um, of Swords over here. So you went through a very, very difficult relationship, it seems, and that, um, you know, that ended. Uh, and you seem to have started something brand new. So there might have been, uh, you know, you've come uh, from a very, very difficult relationship after the Ten of Swords. Uh, you know, it talks about betrayal and lies and deceit, and you've dealt with that, and, you know, you've had to change the way uh, it's transformed you completely, and you had to change the way that you've even been thinking or even uh, sorting through things. Now, um, you know, it, it was... It was almost as though, you know, that was a permanent end to that situation. You you went through quite a bit. Um, there was a lot of heartache, a lot of heartbreak, and like I said, a lot of betrayal as well. And it seems like, you know, you've, uh, you've had to emerge from that and start all over again. And maybe this is why, you know, you had um, this trust card, you know, you were a bit uh, dubious about whether or not you should actually take a risk in a new relationship. Now, going to the future, you've got the moment-to-moment -moment card. So you are taking this relationship one step at a time. You're not rushing into things, and you're not um, you're thinking things very, very carefully, uh, thinking through things very, very carefully, and you know you're approaching everything very, very cautiously as well. You've got the silence card over here, which is uh, the star card, and you, you are being divinely guided along with this relationship. You're getting a lot of psychic insights about it, and you're understanding it on a very, very deeper level. You can see this person's third eye is activated over there. So it looks like, you know, you are approaching it from a very psychic kind of view. You're, you're playing it by ear, and you're proceeding very, very cautiously with this relationship. So those are the energies for those two weeks. So I'm using the Art Nouveau Tarot for this reading. I have shuffled this deck. So at the bottom of the deck, you've got the priest um, card of year, and this is uh, revisiting all your traditional views and ideas and changing them, really. You might be also... Um, you know, praying a lot, or you maybe you become a lot more spiritual now after having gone through a very, very difficult period. So it looks like, you know, you are thinking things through very carefully, and you've got a new philosophy in life as well. And this is the thing that you are trying to apply to your life. The old traditional views that you had have, seem to have left or have died away, and you have now, um, you're approaching things from a very, very different perspective, uh, because you've been through a lot with this priest card. Now you've got the Judgment card and the Ace of Cups over here, so you want to start something brand new. The Judgment card is calling you to make a decision. So you're at some kind of crossroads in your life right now. Um, as far as relationships go, uh, you, want, you need to pr approach things from a di very different perspective, uh, do things in a very different way, not the same way that you've done it in the past. Now, you have changed your philosophies in life with this priest um, card over here, the Hierophant card, um, and you, know, you, you are very, very um, knowledgeable now 
about how to handle situations. And because of that, now the judgment card also talks about having gained all the knowledge and gone through a karmic kind of cycle. You are now being called to make a decision to get rid of things that are not serving you and use that knowledge that you gained from the past relationship applied to, to the new relationship or a new relationship and uh, go down a different route. So you're being called to make a, a change in path or you're being called to change your direction in which you approach relationships. And it looks like there might be a new relationship coming in. You've got the Ace of Cups over here. This is a new um, yearning. Uh, for a new relationship and, um, you know, something brand new, a new offer coming in for you um, that will be very, very different from the one, uh, the relationship um, that you are in. So it is crossing the judgment card. So it looks like, um, you know, once you make that decision that you want something different in life, something brand new comes in for you. Now, that relationship in the past was a really nasty relationship. You've got the Eight of Swords over here. And this person that you seem to have been involved in was very dominating. Uh, you know, they, they were almost um, suppressing you. And, uh, you know, you can see this person is very restricted. Uh, she can't move out of that situation. And you were very trapped within that relationship. Uh, so they manipulated you. They were very dominating. Maybe they were people that wanted to know where, what your every move was. And um, there was a lot of arguments and fights. And maybe there also was a lot of verbal abuse that went on within their relationship. It looks at, like that relationship ended up in a divorce. You've got the King of Swords over here. So there looks like there was some kind of legal separation from that uh, relationship that you had. And that was probably a divorce. So what's in your mind? You are thinking about the past a lot. And you're looking at, you, know, you can see this man's looking at this empty cup over here. So you are being very nostalgic about the past as well and you're looking very deeply into the past and maybe you are thinking about the things that you lost or the things that you never gained because you were in that relationship. So going into the future, you've got the Queen of Staves over here and this is taking control of that situation. Uh, you're independent and uh, you know people are seeing you as somebody who is in control of things. Uh, so you're taking your power back. She's got that stave in her hand over here, that rod in her hand over here. And uh, you know she's uh, the Queen of Staves is a, a person who um, is very exciting and you know uh, likes to travel and uh, communicates very well. So maybe you're getting out there on the social scene again. Maybe you're doing a lot of traveling or you're meeting a lot of people. You're socializing a bit, but you're definitely taking that control back again. So um, you've got the Seven of Cups over here um, in, um, in the slot that represents you. So this is what, all about you. And this is about having, um, you know, trying to come up with a new idea. So you have got a lot of, a lot of options on your mind or you have a lot of ideas in your mind. Um, you know, you want something, you've got visions. So you, you, maybe you're dreaming about the person that you want uh, now. You're hoping for them and you have an ideal uh, person that you want. So you've got a vision about who you want. And you're thinking about them a lot. You're wishing for somebody to come into your life right now. And uh, you want you know, them to have, you know, they must tick certain boxes. So you want them to have a certain personality type. And this is, uh, you know, almost daydreaming about um, somebody that you want in, in to, to come into your life. You have that vision. You have that uh, desire about who you want. And you know what you want right now. So what's going on around you? You've got this five of rods over here. So you might still be interacting with this person that you have separated from. And you might still be having power struggles with this person. Uh, there might still be arguments. Maybe when, when you encounter this person, um, you may be fighting with them still. So there's still some bickering and some arguing. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of power struggles still going on between you and that person. So that relationship uh, is still hasn't left uh, your arena completely. You for some reason or the other, you're still interacting with them, and it's still a, a very, um, it's still a very aggressive kind of relationship that you have with the person that you have separated from. And uh, you've got the Emperor card over here, so this is you still trying to take control of that situation. Now, that person that you might be dealing with might be an, uh, a fire sign person. Um, they might be an Aries, um, or they might even be a Scorpion. So there could be a Scorpio or an Aries person because the Emperor card is ruled by Mars. And uh, this person uh, is very dominating, uh, very domineering. Uh, and, um, you know, they don't really listen to you and they have no empathy. And they can't really uh, relate to you or they don't really meet or fulfill your um, emotional needs. And you're worried, uh, you know, uh, that you won't be able to break free from them as well. So going into the future, you've got the Empress, you've got the Ace of Pentacles, and you've got the Hermit. So the Empress is 
achieving everything by, you know, by yourself, being able to get over the situation by yourself without anybody else giving you that support. Now, the Empress is the queen of queens in the tarot deck, and um, you know, she's somebody who has a lot of abundance, and she's also somebody that's in charge. So you are taking control, and you know, you're becoming financially independent, and uh, you know, you're able to sort things out. So you're looking after yourself, and you're also acquiring wealth, and you're acquiring abundance by yourself. So you're managing to get through things by yourself, and um, you know, people see you as somebody who is very, um, you know, mature, in the sense that you have. Uh, you know, you've taken control emotionally of that situation and you're coming out on top. And you're also managing to show people that, you know, you can get along without needing uh, to rely on anybody else. So that's the Empress card. Now you've got the Ace of Pentacles over here, and this is talking, <coughs> excuse me, about um, a new um, relationship coming in. Now you might meet this person on the work front because this is the Ace of Pentacles and um, maybe you aren't looking for this person but you, you might encounter them on um, in your work situation. And this person is um, extremely fine, you know, they're financially well off, um, they are stable and uh, you work well with this person. So it looks like there might be a new relationship coming in and it's somebody that you meet at work. And you've been spending, you know, you've got the hermit card over here. It seems like, you know, you're very, very work focused over here. So... Um, the hermit card is somebody who wants to be left alone and, and you know, wants to just focus on their work. And if you do that, uh, you might end up missing that relationship. So uh, you have uh, spend, you are spending a lot of time by yourself and you are focused on your work a lot. Maybe you're doing some study as well and not seeing this new relationship that comes in. But uh, it is there. There might be an offer that comes in, you know, uh, um, to go out, uh, maybe for dinner or something like that. And, uh, you know, you are so focused on your work, you might not end up seeing that uh, relationship coming in. So be aware that somebody maybe that you're working with maybe has, um, you know, um, a secret admirer, if you like, or admirer who wants to take you out or wants to have a relationship with you, uh, but you're so focused on your work, you're not actually seeing it. You're spending so much of time. The Hermit card is um, a card ruled by Virgo, and they tend to, uh, you know, Virgo is a, a sign that tends to like to be by itself. So um, you are carrying that energy right now where you're so focused on that work because it's also, um, uh, uh, Virgo also rules work. And, um, you're not seeing any kind of relationship. You're focused on making money, but you're not you're not really willing to start a relationship right now. It may be too soon, uh, but there is that prospect. There is that opportunity that will present itself. And with this Ace of Cups, it looks like there is uh, a new relationship that's going to present itself to you. So you've got two aces there, which is showing that maybe uh, somebody is interested, uh, but it's now up to you to make that decision about whether or not you want to accept their advances or not. Um, you're still get so you're still getting over that relationship or that divorce that you went through or that separation that you went through, um, but there looks like there is a prospect that somebody else is coming in. So um, the first card from the um, Archangel Power Tower, and this is the Oracle read, says uh, it's the Emperor card, which says stability and efficiency, taking charge of a situation, ambitious plans. So it, this is uh, a card showing that you uh, want to take control of that situation and you're taking control back of your life again. Um, so, you know, you're getting um, back your authority and you're becoming, you know, you're very logical and you're, you're approaching things from a very um, distant point of view. So you're not getting very emotionally uh, involved or attached to the outcome of the situation. You've got the moon over here, which says the opportunity to improve your plans, listen to your intuition for a accurate guidance, face your fears and grow stronger. So with the moon card, it's talking about, you know, using your intuition to get through any kind of situation. Uh, um, Pisces is a very, very intuitive sign. So, you know, follow your gut instinct. This moon is also talking about being confused and being a, a bit anxious about what is going on around you. So you might be experiencing a little bit of anxiety uh, about the situation and a bit of confusion. Maybe you feel that, um, you know, everything has not come to light yet. There's still things that you need to know that you didn't uh, really know and you're discovering the truth slowly and also you know with the moon card it also talks about um, you know don't trust everybody that you meet some people um, will not be telling you the truth about everything there are hidden enemies with the moon card 
and you know watch uh, whom you trust and whom you divulge uh, very sensitive information to so really the moon card is almost like a warning card so just watch uh, don't just leap into a relationship uh, willy-nilly make sure that you are well aware of what's going on uh, before you make any kind of commitment and the last card you've got the two of Ariel over here it says it's important to have balance working multiple jobs and projects at the same time and making work fun so it looks like um, you know you are concentrating more on your work uh, you might as they say have two jobs uh, you also are trying to get your finances in balance with this two of Ariel, which is like the two of uh, pentacles um, and you're trying to um, you know uh, sort out uh, your financial life really so you're trying to get that balance back again in your life um, with the two of Ariel, you know you could be um, you could have an offer of two jobs as well so you could be um, trying to decide uh, this is trying to make a decision about money or try to make a decision about finances and this is where your focus seems to be uh, on your on uh, getting back your independence and sorting out that finances getting your finances in balance again so it seems like you're getting over that relationship. Um, you know, there is an, an offer coming in. It seems like there's an ace of cups coming in. And with the judgment card, uh, you know, this is usually a card of um, success after going through a lot of problems. Um, and with this new relationship, it looks like it's going to be successful. And it might be somebody that you meet on a work front over here. Um, but right now, you can see, even in this card, you've got these two, uh, um, I think they're weasels, uh, with their backs turned to each other. So there's somebody there uh, in, on the work front uh, whom you are not noticing because you are so focused on the work with the, the hermit card. Uh, but they will make some kind of offer. And, uh, you know... Just be very cautious who you are, who you accept the offers from, because you don't want to end up in a, a similar situation uh, like the one that you've uh, been involved in where the person was very, very dominating. Uh, so make sure that you are investigating this person very carefully before you accept any kind of offer. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.